Hello, in this video I will match subject with the background, uh, something like this. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I already extract the subject. Uh, I use very very pretty picture of me. They I add some bird on the picture and position. You can position whatever you want, or you if you don't want you don't have to add any bird. Then I extract another bird, as you can see, add clipping mask and add on the main picture. Apply clipping mask, then we are going to convert in smart object. Change size to fit uh, with the hand. I use this proportion. I hope it's okay. Then we are going to hide some part of the flower using clipping mask. Use just regular brush, just black color and hide some parts you don't need I convert this into smart object because I, I don't know if I want to change size that I don't want to lose quality of the picture. Of course, if it, if it's smart object, you don't lose quality if you change it bigger or smaller. Now I'm going to add some motion blur uh, to the birds. And first one and second one. And I'm going to invert the, this mask. Settle the eye and paint some wings and uh, some parts like she is actually flying to get some, this kind of effect. Something like this is nice. Now for the other bird, we are going to do exactly the same thing, just we are going to change the angle of the motion. Again we are going to invert the clipping mask and uh, unhide the parts we are going to blurry or motion blurry wings and tail and some part of the body now we are going to merge all that into one layer I already add some background from Japan because I love Japan very very much then we are going to add some curves click on this icon then we are going to choose some 
darker areas most darker areas on the background then we are going to choose some mid tones on the background and in the end we are going to choose some highlights on the background most bright parts on the background of course Now we are going to clip with the subject and we are going to do the same thing but on the subject we are going to use, use some white areas, mid tones and black areas. I change the brightness of the main object later with some curves uh, a little bit darker because it is too bright now we are going to add some color adjustment layer You can change the values as you like, you don't have to copy my values. We are going to add another adjustment layer, crispy warm look and again we are going to change some values of this layer change opacity and uh, we are going to change some blending options hold alt to separate this Now we are going to add some depth to the field. Using tilt shift blur. As I said, in the end I didn't like the brightness of the subject, so I use curves again and I add some darker color on it.
and now we are going to add some depth there's blurry edges to the subject because it is too sharp on the edges but not this filter of course So we are going to point the areas we don't want to blur and change to 0 pixels and point some area we want to be blur and change values whatever we want. just a little bit around the subject to be blurry to blend better with the background of course because this is smart object you can change values whatever you want and don't lose quality of the picture And I think this is it. So basically this is this is it, you can add some camera raw filter or you can add some more filter if you want but this is look nice for me and I hope you like it